every eight minutes, a woman dies of pregnancy-related complications in India. A shocking figure at odds with the India growth story. We bring you this report from Barwani in Madhya Pradesh, where between April and December 2010, 25 women died at a government hospital. An investigation into why, despite a safe motherhood program, so many mothers are still dying. Sangeeta travelled two hours to reach this government-run maternity clinic to deliver her baby. 48 hours after she gave birth, she is yet to be checked for blood pressure and infections that can prove fatal. Worse, there have been 10 deliveries today along with Sangeeta's with just one doctor and one nurse on duty. This is the state of the Comprehensive Emergency Obstetrics and Neonatal Care Centre at Pathi. One of three centres set up by the Madhya Pradesh government across Barwani district to provide critical care to pregnant women of over 100 poor tribal villages around. A mockery given there is only one gynaecologist, six beds and a single delivery room. Most mothers are forced to sleep in the open corridor with their newborns. An infant here was picked up and killed by a stray dog last year. There is no sonography machine, no equipment to even check blood pressure or haemoglobin levels. A glaring lack in a region where sickle cell anemia that severely depletes haemoglobin in the body is common among the poor. Worse, the centre is not equipped to handle any emergencies like breach or caesarean deliveries. For the smallest complication, women have to travel over two hours in labour on trucks and buses to get to Barwani District Hospital. Many don't make it alive. Like Santu's mother, Bessie, she travelled 10 kilometres at night after she went into labour. The baby came out but the placenta got stuck inside. The doctor told the family to take her to Barwani, but there was no government vehicle available. By the time her family arranged for transport, she died. Stories you hear across the district, expecting mother dying of hemorrhage, infection, hypertension and obstructed labour. Conditions that are not fatal if the mother receives skilled care at the time of delivery. But in Barwani, surviving maternity is one of the hardest battles. Take the maternal mortality rate in Madhya Pradesh. At 335 deaths per 1 lakh births, it's among the highest in the country. Within it, poor, backward and tribal Barwani tops the list. To combat the deaths, the state government has started programs at the local level. On the ground, though, you see little effort to strengthen services. Key posts at many health centres are unmanned or understaffed. The equipment? Rusted. According to the 2009 CAG report, 80% of the primary health centres in Madhya Pradesh are non-functional. Take this one at Pulsur, which covers 15 villages. On duty, just one nurse and a midwife. This primary health centre in Bokrata is manned by just one doctor and a nurse. It covers 30 villages. For even basic checkups, women travel five hours to Barwani. For normal delivery, this is a hospital. इसके अलावा हम कोई व्यवस्था कर नहीं सकते ना हॉस्पिटल गवर्नमेंट ने हमको दी है हॉस्पिटल को बीमॉक बनाया जाना चाहिए जहां स्टाफ नर्स भी होती है एलएचबी भी होती है और दो एनएम भी होती हैं और दो डॉक्टर भी होते हैं अंडर द सेंटर्स जननी सुरक्षा योजना अडॉप्टेड बाय द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ट्रांसपोर्ट मस्ट बी प्रोवाइडेड टू प्रेग्नेंट वुमेन एट द टाइम ऑफ डिलीवरी बट देयर इज जस्ट वन वैन फॉर 25 टू 30 विलेजेस Yeah.
NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.